Okay. Last noon game. Cleveland at Jacksonville. And I was gonna I was full on ready to pick this as a this was a sneaky game for the Browns. Because the Jaguars played horribly against the Steelers. But it, that's again against the Steelers who's been playing lights out this entire year. Uh that's why they're undefeated. Although against the Cowboys they kinda take a slumper, but every team's allowed to have that little little rest. Little little bad game now and then. Uh but I was expecting this to be a sneaky game because uh, unfortunately for Cleveland, I that offense is really good with Gardner Minshew at the helm. When you have talents like DJ Chark, LaVisca Chanel, and James Robinson all healthy, it's an offense that's pretty explosive and exciting to watch. Un- as uh, Adding on top of that, Miles Garrett and Denzel Ward, really their two defensive players worth a lick, uh, will not be playing in this game, so I thought Jacksonville's offense might be able to take advantage of that. And the defense looked really good against the Packers for the Jacksonville Jaguars. And they looked good early until they probably got worn out because the offense went nowhere, constantly turned the ball over and stuff like that. Fortunately, Mike Glennon will be starting for the Jacksonville Jaguars. And I don't know if I'm wrong about this, but I believe last time we saw Mike Glennon starting as a quarterback, it was for the Tennessee Titans in Week 17 in a basically playoff game against the Colts, and he sucked. He just absolutely sucked, and he threw the game away, and it gave the Colts the, to the playoffs, and then you know, they killed, they beat my Texans, and it was just a heartbreaking thing for me as a Texans fan. Uh, but Jacksonville's uh, definitely, I think, is going to be a team to watch out for next year to pull off a couple of upsets with their rookie Justin Fields and possibly make them to the playoffs in two years. Uh, it's definitely looking like the offense is coming together, and I don't know about that defense, but that offense definitely looks good. Uh, I was expecting this to be a sneaky game for the Browns, but the fact is, the, uh, there's no offense going around. I see the Browns defense taking some turnovers and turning that into points. I watch for Baker Mayfield to have a big game, as well as Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt on the ground. So give me Cleveland to crush Jacksonville in this one. Yeah.